Here's how we can convert from grams of Fe2O3 to moles. So we're talking about grams of iron three oxide and we're going to moles. And we have 98.1 grams. That's just a number I made up for this video. So it's kind of helpful to think of mole to grams and grams to mole conversions like this. When we're going from moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. It's a little mnemonic to help you remember moles to grams, you multiply by the molar mass for the compound. We have grams to moles, so we're just going to do the opposite. Grams to moles, we'll just divide by the molar mass for Fe2O3. So let's do that. We're going to take 98.1 grams, divide it by the molar mass of Fe2O3, which is 159.70 grams per mole. If you need help finding this, there's a link at the end of this video on how to find the molar mass for Fe2O3. So let's convert these grams to moles. We have our 98.1 grams, because we're going from grams to moles, we're going to divide by the molar mass here of Fe2O3. Let's put this down here. And now you can see when we divide, we have grams up top and on the bottom. They cancel out. We're left with moles. So we know we did it right. And we end up with 0.614 moles, and that's moles of Fe2O3 there. So that's how you do it. We know we're right. The units canceled out. We're left with moles. There's one more way you could do this. It's using conversion factors. Your teacher may have asked you to do it this way. Pretty much the same thing, but let's do it. So we've got our grams of Fe2O3. We multiply this times a conversion factor. So we have grams on the top. We need that on the bottom so they cancel out. We want to end up with moles, so moles has to be on the top. And we know from the molar mass, we have 159.70 grams, and that's in one mole, one mole of Fe2O3. So now we multiply and then we divide. Grams are going to cancel out. Again, we're left with moles, and we get the same answer, 0 0.614 moles, and that is moles of iron 3 oxide here. So it's the same basic thing. This is just using conversion factors. We know we're right because the units canceled out. It's Dr. B converting grams of Fe2O3 to moles. Thanks for watching.